good morning and welcome to our Saturday Stories of Love. And today it's just me and Lucy. So we're just going to hang out, read our story. So Lucy, how was your day? Good. Really? Did you have any issues whatsoever at school today? Everybody was happy? Well, at school, um, someone said they didn't like my blades. Really? You know, it's kind of funny because our story today is all about how God created everybody differently, but those differences make everybody, uh, those differences make everybody unique. And they also said they, and they were today's PJ day, and they said they didn't like my PJs. Well, they're wrong, because those PJs are comfy looking, and I would rock a pair if I could. So, it would be really nice if Sophia would join us, but for whatever reason today, she doesn't want to sit here, so. She'll miss out on our good story. Oh, look who decided to join us. All right, Lucy, you're going to share your seat with Sophia. So, Sophia, how was your day at school today? Good. Good. Did anybody say anything to you about you today? No? You had a good day? I had right. pictures today. Oh, that's right. You had school pictures today. So, our story for today is called You Were Created. So, I think that because everybody is so different and everybody is uniquely created different, I think we need to talk about the fact that just because we're different... Mm -hmm. Is that's not a bad thing, right? All right, so let's read that story and then we'll talk about it after. Sound like a plan? All right. So our story again is called You Were Created. Justice walked into the classroom with tears in her eyes and her head drooped low. She wept and wept, unable to stop her cries. What is wrong, said Mrs. Joe Wright. It's the other kids, Justice sobbed. We had an argument. Moments later, Gianna, Aya, Aya, Kalia, and Reese walked into the classroom, and Omar, Jackson, Emmett, and Carlos followed behind. Ms. Doe Wright was perplexed because she thought this group of students was close, not the type to fuss or fight. What happened? What's the problem? I'm so confused, Mrs. Doe Wright asked. Please tell me what's wrong so we can help you kids through this. Omar said my hair was too, early, too curly, cried Justice. Well, you said you didn't want to be my friend because of my accent, Carlos replied. That wasn't until you made fun of the food my mom packed me for lunch, Aya chimed in. You said I eat too much rice. I don't. She's your I, BFF. I, I, yeah. But wait, that was after you said Reese was better than me just because her family has a lot of money, Gianna stated. Well, all of you made fun of me because I'm not good at sports, said Jackson. Okay, okay, that's enough, Miss Dorey said, <clears throat> putting an end to the commotion. Each of you is different, and that's beautiful. From the color of your skin to the food that you eat, your differences make you exceptional in your own right, Mrs. Dorit said. My mom said we don't see color. That's not what we do, Reese explained. Well, my sweet Reese, encouraged, I encourage you to see color. When you choose not to see color, we fail to acknowledge all that God has created. Reese looked downright confused, so Mrs. Dorit continued. Well, you see, each of us was created in God's likeness and image. The Bible says this is true. So there is a small piece of God in me and you. And her. And Lucy. And the kitty. And the kitty. And everyone in the whole world. From the way that you walk and the texture of your hair, each and every one of you was created beyond compare. From the deepness of your melanin or the lack thereof, each of you is worthy of love. You know what melanin is? It's what makes your skin color. So some people have more melanin, which makes them a little darker. And some people have less melanin, which kind of like Lucy. She's mm -hmm. very light skinned. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's really cold. And when you go to the beach, we get to it. Exactly. But you can't go to the beach. <clears throat> the children listened in awe, hanging on to every word Mrs. Dorite lovingly shared. I can't promise you that you will always agree. But just make sure you listen and to hear and not just to speak. You were created to be special and true because God knew the world needed someone like you. God, <clears throat> we all have a role and something special to do. But for us to do our part, we must pay attention from the very start. Mrs. Joe Wright, Mrs. Joe Wright, Justice excitedly interrupted. What is my part? I must understand from the start. Miss Joe Wright smiled and continued. You are young, but old enough to know there are many different paths which you can go. Some paths may seem right, and others you will know are wrong, but there will be lessons to learn all along. With a deep breath and a heavy sigh, tears formed in the corner of Miss Dilray's eyes. It's up to you to choose. 
it's up to you to choose to love of all of your friends. Instead of hating them for their differences, love them for what is within. See the beauty in each curl. <laughs> the love in each accent and the deliciousness in every meal. Learning to choose love will help everyone heal. With wide eyes and soft smiles, the kids looked at Mrs. Doray to continue. Remember, she said, it's your job to call out your friends. You know the ones who spew hate instead of letting, letting love in. We all deserve a chance to live our lives free from hatred and fear of things beyond our control because when God created you, he didn't make any mistakes. He created you for a moment like this to let your light shine and drive out the hate, to not choose sin so the world can be a better place. So God created my hair to curl, said Justice, a bit perplexed. He created your hair to curl and Reese's to be straight, and both of you have hair that looks really great, said Mrs. Dore. Why couldn't God help me be good at sports, Jackson asked. Well, Jackson, maybe sports aren't for you, but God created something other, other things for you to do, Mrs. Dore replied. God created you to change the world, every single boy and girl. Ms. Dore stated, how can we as kids change the world, Kalila asked. Yeah, nobody listens to us, but you ever asked. <laughs> Changing the world doesn't seem like something we, should, we could do, Aya chimed in. Yes, you're all young. That is true. More of a reason the future is for you. God created you all with brilliant minds, all to withstand the test of time. Some of you are good at math and others are great at staying on task. Some have the creative gene and with your hands you create anything. All of you have hearts so pure that God created to endure to withstand anything that this thing called life can bring. You were created to change the tide. You were created to run with great strides. You are all ancestors' wildest dreams. You were created to be exactly what the world needed. You know what, Justice? I do like your hair, said Omar. And Carlos, your accent's really great. I wish I could speak another language like you, Justice said. I could always teach you, Carlos replied. Hey, do you think one day I can give one of your rice dishes a try? <laughs> She'd have to bring more rice for you than anybody else. Of course you can. They're really good, said Aya. And Jackson, you may not be as good at sports as others, but you can draw as well. Nobody can draw as well as you, Kalila said. She's right, Jackson. You know it's true, Gianna added. That means a lot coming from both of you. The two best athletes in school, Jackson replied. This is exactly why the world needs you. Your ability to explore change is beautiful. Many adults have a hard time with this. I think that it is one of the biggest reasons God made kids exist. The kids looked at each other and apologized for their unkind words and judgment, which ended in hugs. Today, they decided they were created to love. So what did you think of the story? I really liked that one. I think that it's a really important lesson. One I know that you are, <coughs> you are very good with because you... Never have anything bad to say about anybody. So, what did you think, Lucy? Good. Good? All right. Well, folks, thank you for joining us today as usual. And we hope you enjoyed our story and we hope you have a great day. Oh, I got to go. Why? Because I was supposed to meet my friend for dinner. Oh, well, go beat your friend for dinner and enjoy that rice. Yeah. I like <laughs> All right. rice. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Have a good night. <laughs> you know what I was laughing?